Good morning. Good morning. It's a morning in Canada. We are uh, still in Vancouver. It's our uh, last day here and we just uh, went out in the morning for a walk and uh, enjoy a coffee at uh, English Bay. I can see people running, kayaking, pedal boarding, swimming, throwing rocks in the water. <laughs> it's, uh, it's early in the morning and uh, the active uh, people, they are already out doing all kind of uh, things. There were a couple guys uh, already swimming at uh, 8 uh, o'clock in the morning. You know, they were plunging in the water. I think it's so cool though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a guy, he took a, he took a run and uh, went straight in the water. He had a belly flop. <laughs> he did. <laughs> so, uh, yesterday, just to give you some updates, uh, yesterday to the end of the day we uh, finished uh, at uh, Kitsilano beach and uh, we went there to dip our uh, feet in the water <laughs> and when we got there the whole beach and the parking lot it was packed <laughs> it was packed but everybody was keeping to themselves like to their own bubble if you looked at the side of your eyes like on the eye line and uh, you would think that everybody will just uh, be crowded together, but they were not. Everybody was keeping to their bubble. The tide was coming in and it was so nice. Beautiful uh, afternoon, evening and uh, lots of people, but uh, like my wife said, uh, there were groups and groups and groups and groups. Today morning when I woke up, I looked at the news <laughs> and then there was news about the Kitsilano beach being packed. It was packed but people were still keeping apart from each other we weren't at the at, at the news but the news was about uh, kitsilano and uh, after that we uh, found a hotel at uh, english bay <coughs> and it's called the uh, best western uh, sands and uh, we took a walk for the evening to have a dinner <laughs> and we got to the beach it was pretty much the same story and uh, it was a guy uh, doing some uh, tricks with a uh, uh, unicycle and uh, he was playing with fire and there were people all over everyone my name is quinn i come all the way from here thank you so much for watching you guys have been absolutely amazing thank you so much it was still very nice as we watched the sunset last night it was such a beautiful sunset and yeah. we enjoy our dinner on the beach and it, it was very good. It was nice. It was. It's something else uh, from Kelowna. We miss uh, Vancouver. When uh, we uh, lived in uh, Chilliwack, we uh, used to come uh, pretty often to Vancouver, and we really like the vibe of the city. Uh, people they uh, are out. It's a beautiful, uh, big city. There are lots of uh, activities to be made around. So uh, I guess everybody's enjoying this beautiful weather. Yeah, the guy at the restaurant was saying that it's the first weekend and I don't know how many months that is being, is being totally sunny outside. Yeah, because when we got to the restaurant, uh, it was a shop on the on the street and uh, I asked the guy what's happening? It's like a, it's an event here because everybody was uh, cheering and uh, clapping and having uh, good times on the beach and we thought maybe it's an event but uh, it was just uh, people out uh, and they were uh, cheering for that uh, guy who uh, was doing tricks with the winnie cycle you guys should check it out the view that we're seeing right now it's so nice and peaceful you just don't want to go anywhere else you just want to stay here
Park. Uh, we're, we parked the car and now we're just gonna go for a walk around the Stanley Park. I saw that there's a walking path and there's a tray, uh, a biking path. There's a lot of people biking, rollerblading, running, walking everywhere. <laughs> Everybody's doing everything. Yeah, it's uh, the Stanley Park uh, has the most uh, walking paths and biking paths all over the park from uh, one side to the other side, from uh, downtown side, from uh, north Vancouver side. There's also horse uh, buggy. You go in there and you go around the Stanley Park with horses and you can ri uh, rent bikes if you want. There's some, uh, I think you have to have a, uh, oh. an app for it, but I think it's a little too much for us. We're more like old style. <laughs> we wanted to bring our bikes from Kelowna but we were thinking, I don't know, with the Coca-Cola and with the Vancouver parking stuff and it's gonna be a little bit too much. So we didn't. We didn't, but uh, we're gonna take a walk. The uh, weather is beautiful outside, people are walking, so uh, we're uh, just gonna enjoy and uh, a peaceful morning. As you can see behind us here, we have some really cool Indian tonal pools. They're very special to the west coast of Canada since the carvings represent different stories. Many animals are carved on these totem poles and they all have different meanings. Birds like eagles represent the kingdom of the air. Whales and other sea creatures mean the lordship of the sea. Wolves and other land roamers are the geniuses of the land. And some in-between creatures like frogs, they're the transition and the connecting dots between sea and land. The totem poles are not meant to be idolized nor worshipped by anyone and the totem poles are carved out of red cedar wood. They have amazing colors on them or some of them they're just plain made of just the cedar but some of them they're very colorful too.
the Bridal Far Provincial Park, which was established in 1965, and it's approximately 320 hectares. There's a falls out there which is 60 meters high. And another cool fact is that here you can find 250 species of moss because of the wet environment. One species of moss is only can be found here and it's and in Scotland and some of the species are only can be found here in this park uh, in the whole North America. Uh, the Bridal Falls name came from a bride who wanted her veil to be about 60 meters high, which is the height of the waterfall like Mom said. I can hear the waterfall. Thanks. Let's go see what it is. Adventure is done. We are on our way home 
to go now. Wah, wah, wah. No. The weekend was awesome, awesome. The weather was so good. But now it's time to go back. Vancouver, it's always fun. And the vibe of the city gets you. I'm telling you that much. Yeah, even Diana, she said she's gonna move to Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> Just going away from home for a couple of days and uh, you never know what to expect. It's always uh, great adventures. Yes. Yeah. Now that we're talking about Vancouver also, who do you think is the main attraction that uh, everybody should go and see? The main couple ones? Main couple ones, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, just for from the beginning to let you know there are a ton of attractions in vancouver yeah and it's not just vancouver it's uh, all over like richmond Chilwa. and the uh, chiloa cabos for and the uh, vancouver island and sunshine coast oh there are a ton but just specifically in vancouver yeah, yeah our favorite ones and uh, you never have time to do them at once, but we're going to try to do them uh, one or two at a time. The main ones, uh, I don't have a specific order, doesn't matter uh, the order, but the main ones are uh, Kraus Mountain. Yes. To hike Kraus Mountain and uh, to go up there, it's beautiful view over Vancouver. That's one of them. Sea to Sky Gondola. Sea to Sky, wow, that's another one. Yeah, then Capilano Bridge. Capilano Bridge. Stanley Park. Wow, Stanley Park is so beautiful. BC Place. BC Place. And the other attraction in BC Place because uh, it's more than one uh, huge uh, stop. Yeah, in the BC Place they have that Fly Over Canada. Yeah. Which is pretty much like a what? A virtual reality. A virtual reality, yes. And then at, also at BC Place, this time uh, the cruise ships, they were not there. But you can uh, see some big, huge uh, ships, which they going all over from uh, Bahamas. The Caribbean. The Caribbean. The Alaska. And then all the... Beach, uh, all the beach spots, yeah. spots around the Vancouver, like Kitsilano Beach, Kitsilano Beach, Jer Jericho, Jericho beach. University Beach, lots of them. They are uh, all over. Let's not forget about the Vancouver Aquarium. That's really good too. We went there a couple of times. When, and, uh, when Denise was little, she was trying to give the fishes <laughs> the sauce <Yeah. laughs> from her sippy cup. And then we went to, before Diana to, but you don't remember, to uh, the Science World. Science World? Yeah, yeah, we went there a couple of years ago when you were little. But uh, the other ones, uh, one of my favorite also, it's not in Vancouver, it's in Richmond, is the Fisherman uh, World. Oh, it's that one where you go and buy fresh fish and you feed the sea lions. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have to go early in the morning to get uh, the fish fresh from the boats which uh, are coming and docking over there. And you remember when uh, we bought the shrimp? Yeah, it took us uh, 3 million years to open them up. <laughs> to clean them. Oh my god. Yeah, it was, we were so happy to have uh, fresh uh, shrimp, but when uh, we got home, <laughs> good luck to clean them. Yeah, it was a lot. And the uh, other ones are uh, the one which we did uh, this time. We went to with the water taxi and we went to Granville Island. Granville Island and see the boats on the water, those are my favorites too. Oh, the big yachts. I can, stay, I, I can stay on the beach and watch the boats coming and going for days. Yeah, not even just the big yachts, even the little boats, little, even the little fishing boats, they were nice. Yeah. Or people paddling on the paddle boards or 
it's really good. It was a uh, warm weekend and uh, people they uh, came out and they uh, stayed uh, on the groups and away from each other, from other groups, they stayed on uh, their own bubble. So yeah, that was uh, our uh, adventure in uh, Vancouver and now we're going back to Kelowna. For a new week. For a new week, we uh, charge our batteries and uh, we are ready to push uh, for the week. For the week. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing to our channel and for watching us. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you next week. With new adventures, we're going to keep them coming because you guys love them. So uh, you give us the drive to go in more adventures. We're going to do hikes, we're going to do waterfalls, we're going to do RV, camping, you and name a, it. And a surprise one that I'm looking forward to it. Some of my favorite ones. They, they coming this summer for sure. Yes. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to thanks to, for watching. Thanks to spending the time with us. See you next time. Cheers.